What's going on everyone? I'm here in the garage right now. Today's job, I actually have new calipers that I need to paint. Here's my new set of calipers. Now, they're new, but it's not like they're upgraded performance calipers. These are base model calipers, like I explained in my last video where I was talking about my new Bellix. Yeah, so I have to go to a base front end brake setup. Going to a base front end brake setup is just basically in order so I can fit my new Bellix on. I'm, I don't really want to. When you guys actually left a comment in that video telling me that this company fast brakes I think that's what it was correct me if I'm wrong that they actually make a front drag brake kit for the RSX running 13s I didn't know that at the time and when you left that comment I already had these comments so it kind of sucks because they look like a nice set of brakes I read it I can't remember right now if those were only for like drag racing if they were okay for street use because I do drive the car on the street sometimes I don't know what it, you know, if it is or not. I would have liked to have gotten those, but it's okay. I got to get these base calipers painted first. I'll get into more detail of the whole front brake setup in another video. This is just kind of video if you're looking to paint your, your calipers. So that'll be the title of this video, how to paint your front calipers, because this is just kind of one of those videos. I'm in the garage kind of doing something I need to get done. So I'm taking you guys along with me. So I kind of got a head start on this whole caliper job right now as you guys can see i already kind of masked it off i masked the key areas like the rubber boots the uh, bleeder screw where the brake line goes in the back and right under where the piston is i already masked all that before i did that i had to clean these because they came with some kind of oil on them the oil on them could have been for shipping so that way they don't rust or anything on the way over so they, it was pretty gooey and grimy so what i did first is i shot it with brake clean now the brake clean helped for the most part, you know, it, it got most of that stuff off. But when I went to go put the tape on, I noticed that there was still oil residue all over it. So the next thing I got was a prep spray, which yeah, right here, not sponsoring this product. This is just what I have. It's a duplicate color prep spray. So I sprayed that on, wiped it all down and it seemed like it got most of that grease off because that's that's like a grease and wax remover so you could probably use that i think i have that too whatever so i used that and then that's when i was able to lay the tape down now after that i just kind of set up this whole little spray booth area or whatever i have a fan that i'm going to be turning on after i spray because i don't really want those fumes floating all around in here first thing we're going to do because these are brand new like i said we just cleaned all the goo off of them we're just going to shoot some primer down and the primer oh let me show you my bucket method so I've seen a lot of people do this. They keep their spray cans in like hot water to, uh, I'm not even gonna lie, like I know what it does. It just, uh, yeah, wow, what, what am I trying to say here? Brings the paint to room temperature or something like that. I don't know, I've seen so many people do this. This is my first time actually doing this because I've noticed I leave all my paint, can all my spray cans in the garage and over the winter and stuff like that. They're cold, they don't spray that good. So. I'm trying this method out. Leave a comment below if you know exactly why they do that. I know there's a reason. I can't think of what it is right now. So we're trying that out. And the primer I have, which is what I wanted to show you. I'm just using this flame proof primer. So it should be good up. Oh wow, these cans are nice and warm. Anyway, this is the primer I'm using. And then after the primer, I just have regular red caliper paint. This is all VHT. Yeah, I believe this is all VHT. So then we use a red cow paint and then I have a engine enamel clear. So this is all for high heat since the calipers, they are in a hot environment. Let me set my camera up. Let me, I'm going to try to keep it close, but not too close because I don't want spray paint on my lens. So let me set it up and we're going to start throwing some primer down. Safety first. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Alright, so I should have put this in the beginning of the video, but I just want to reiterate, I am not a professional painter, body man, whatever, and this is not the professional way to do it. This is just the way I paint, I, I paint brake calipers. So if you guys are looking for a way to paint brake calipers and you're not really sure and you want to go my route, go for it. I mean, I get decent results, but I'm not a professional. This is not the correct way to do it. So just, just putting that out there. Put the first coat of primer down we're going to let that dry for about 10 minutes and then we're going to come back throw a second coat 
and the second coat should basically be a little more thicker than the first coat because the first coat is what they call a dust coat. You just kind of want to get some primer down there. Now the next one, we're going to build it up a little more. Let that dry for maybe 15 minutes because after that, I'm going to turn the caliper over and do the underside for all the spots we didn't get. So here's what I mean by like a dust coat. I mean, it kind of got full coverage, but there's still some dark areas. This is just, like I said, to throw some primer down to give the, to give the paint something to stick to. So now we're going to come over this again with another coat, get a little thicker on it. And you can even see on the bowl, there's like still shiny spots on it. That's just dusting it. So let's put the second coat on. It's going to be a little, little thicker. Let it dry for 15, 20 minutes. Then we're going to grab it, flip it over and do the other side. minutes these calipers seem like they're pretty dry to the touch for now so we're gonna flip them over and we're gonna find a way to do this without screwing it up so we'll just turn this over like here and what we want is something like this oh all right that works good like that Ooh, looks like we still have some brake clean sitting on this cap. Gonna want to wipe that off, otherwise that's gonna ruin the whole paint. Alright. You know what? I'm just gonna get another cap, because that's the last thing I need. It's a little bit of brake clean. You can actually see through it. To ruin the caliper. So let me just swap this cap out. Now we can get the rest of the caliper. Let's set it up and shoot some more primer. Another two coats. All right guys, so I just got done shooting those two coats of primer on the calipers, so they're dry and done. Now we're gonna start shooting some color and making these calipers pop. So I'm gonna send you that. I'm gonna set you down. Wow, I can't talk today. Now we're gonna put color on this, and then after that's clear. So I want to show you guys a better example of what I mean by dusting the first coat whenever you start a color or a primer or whatever. So with the color, you can see it a little better. As you can see, I literally just kind of dusted it all over. It's easy to, you know, overdo it because on the first coat, when you start seeing color, you want to cover everything. As you can see, I started doing a little bit on the caliper. I started to overdo it a little bit. First coat, I always like to just throw a dusting on. And so you just got to remember that. And you can see it's kind of, it's very light. You can still see the primer behind it. So that's what you want to do. And in the back, you can even see it's almost like you miss spots, but you just want to throw some color down on it. So that's what you want to do when you first dust some paint on. And then again, like I said, when we come back to do the second coat, we're going to really lay it on a little thicker, and we might even do a third coat just to really build it up, put some good protection on the calipers, and just a nice thick layer of paint so that way it doesn't really chip. If you happen to touch it, I have a feeling it might chip anyway if you really do kind of like nick it with the wheel or something. That's just from past experience but you know like i'm okay with that i'm not looking for show car quality i'm just looking for some you know some calipers <laughs> god i'm just looking for some calipers just to look nice because they're red on the car already so it'd be silly to not put them red i just want them to match so again not professional job but it gets the job done all right just flip these bad boys over now time for another three coats for the top which we're gonna speed right through that, 10 minutes in between each coats, and then we're gonna go straight to clear. All right, so we got to the last step now. We're about to shoot some clear. A little bit different when you're shooting clear. You're not gonna do a little dust coat. You're gonna go right away, first coat, go wet. Second coat, go even wetter, and then the third one, you're gonna go finally the wettest coat you can do without running it. And that's what we're about to do right now. Nicole actually just showed up, so she's holding the camera. There she is. That's it. So now, like I said, just the first coat. Don't do no dusting like the other coats were. We're just going to go right ahead and do a nice thick coat. All 
paint still floating around, but I want to give you guys a good look at what it's going to look like ugh, after you put a good coat of clear down. So now you can see there's a nice gloss to both of the calipers. That's what you're going to want to see after throwing down your first coat of clear. And you're just going to follow the rest of the last two. If you want to do three, four coats, whatever you want to do, you're going to keep building up on that. But oh, I got to turn this fan on because <sighs> those fumes are killer. All right, so after finally finishing up all the clear coats, they're done. They don't look half bad. I'll let you guys be the judge. So here they are. I decided to do two coats of clear coat just because eh, I'm not going to be too crazy about how glossy they are. I just wanted them to be red. <laughs> that was it. As you can see where I've been grabbing it from the tape right here. That's how I've been moving it around. But now I'm just going to let these sit overnight and they'll be dry in about 24 hours. And then that's when we can handle them and we'll put them on the car or whatever. But there you go. This is a nice and easy DIY. I don't know if you guys want to paint your own calipers. Now, this is if your calipers are off the car. If they're on the car, obviously it's going to be a little different. But if you have to replace them and you want to paint them, here you go. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little video. It's kind of like a simple DIY. If the calipers are on your car, the only difference is you'd have to mask like around the rotor if you wanted to do that. Or if you were actually just, instead of, you know, leave the brake lines on, take your calipers off, set them on like a bucket mask everything else around it and you spray it just like that so just just an idea if you want to learn how to paint your own road uh, your own calipers those are the steps i take i usually have good results with them hopefully you guys do too and if you have any other suggestions leave them down in the comments if you guys are new to my channel make sure you hit subscribe i'd really appreciate it hit like on this video if it helped you out in any way if you learned any new tricks or steps on how to do something hit like that lets me know i'm doing a good job also, make sure you hit that notification button, that little bell thing, so you guys are updated every time I upload new videos. That way, we're all in the loop. We all know what's going on with Project Car, with the RSX, I'm, you know, same thing. And if I ever pick up another vehicle <laughs> sometime this year, we can have something else to work on. So make sure you hit that notification button so you're always up to date. That's all I got for you guys in this video. Tune in to the next one where we got more work to do because we're just going to keep pumping and just grinding again as much work as we can. I'm done on the RSX. So that way we're ready for race season. Stay motivated, guys, and keep making those streets louder.